Now, I'm not some big tech YouTuber, but I recently got my new iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I was using the iPhone 11 Pro Max before this. I'll be ranking the iPhone 15 Pro Max's features from worst to best. Please remember that this is all my opinion. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comments down below. I'll reply to them. Now, I might get a lot of hate for this, but I genuinely don't understand the like the use of USB-C other than to power your other devices. But usually, the iPhone is the one that needs to get powered, not the one giving out the power, you know? And now that Apple has switched to USB-C, every time you travel with somebody, like your friend or your family, you have to bring your own USB-C cable. You can't tell them to bring a lightning cable because that won't work for your iPhone. So you can't use the same charger as your friends that are using older Apple iPhones. So that's why I placed that at last place. Now the action button is a button that's located on top of the volume buttons. It's only limited to the iPhone 15 series. It's not on the 14, 13, etc. And I only use it for the silent mode. I don't really use it for anything else. Like you can choose to use it for flashlight, camera, and all those stuff. But I just keep it for the silent PS, you know. I'm a student and I don't want my phone going off in the middle of class. But I do prefer the action button over the switch. Because for a switch you don't know if it's silent or not. But for the button, you know, when you press it, it'll like vibrate two times if it's on silent if it's going to turn silent it will vibrate two times but if it's going on uh, for the sound if it's turning on silent it'll only vibrate one time and you can feel that in your pocket so you don't have to bring out your phone to see if it's silent or not which you, you may be saying that oh I'm, I'm lazy or something but honestly like you can't pull out your phone if you know the area you're in like won't let you use phones The dynamic guidance is very nice, in my opinion. You know, when you're screen recording, you don't, you don't know when, like, the recording will start because it will have like a three-second countdown, right? So yeah, you just have to kind of like count your head. But with the dynamic guidance, it can actually show you, you know, if it's still recording, and the countdown from three to one. And for the clock app, you can also see like how many. If you turn on timer, you can also see how many minutes you have left and the animation is just nice you know when you're playing a song you can just press on the dynamic island and then you can choose to uh, pause or play the song and then there's some features there's some like features for dynamic island if you open it with a specific app so if you open like discord and you scroll to the top on your chat history if you press dynamic island it will scroll all the way back down for you but you know it's just for some apps not all apps have this i know always on display may damage your screen but i always turn off when i'm not using it or i'm putting it in my pocket but when like i use it like when you just put your phone on your desk or you put it when you're showering you put it on the table like it looks so good even if you're using the planet's default wallpaper especially the mars one they look really good and always on display can show your time can show the widgets but sometimes you have to turn on low power mode to turn always on display off like when you're not using it or when it's charging because when it's charging that's when i feel like that's when it's vulnerable that's when your phone's the most vulnerable to battery damage because it's heating up so you might want to turn on low power mode to turn off always on display but yeah that's all for my video guys i hope you enjoyed the video please remember that this is all my opinion feel free to leave your opinion in the comments below and i'll see you next time peace out